Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a great night? Come on, here we go. Let's get a hands clap, come on. Nothing left for you to fear. Shake your ass, come over here. Now scream! I'm a burning empathy of everything I used to be. You're my rock of empathy, my thing. So come on. Lady. Is there anything you'd like to add, sir? My granny said yes, she stole it in a peas as well. <laughs> Still burning. Make sure that I'm here to see Mike grow up to be a man. So she turned around and on my eighth birthday, she vowed to walk five miles a day to stay fit and healthy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today is my nan's 90th birthday. Today! <laughs> Nobody knows where she is, but... She's somewhere having a good time. <laughs> Nobody knows. It's nice to know you can. <laughs> I don't get home for Christmas much. Oh. Yes, no, but when I do, I, I, well, actually, to be fair, it's good that I don't, because I never really know what to get my granddad for Christmas. Never know what to get him. I remember one year I went out and I thought to myself, right, what can I do that's something a little bit different, a little bit special? So I went out and I went to a pet shop and I bought him a top of the range, top of the range parrot. How can you have a parrot that's top of the range? Well, this parrot spoke four different languages. Done, he read the, he read the times, would you believe? Done trivia, Sudoku crosswords, even dot to dots. This parrot was amazing. Christmas day, I give it to my granddad. My granddad turns around, he loved it. The next day, I call him up, Boxing Day, I call him up, say, Granddad, how's the parrot working out for you? He said, oh, it was lovely. The meat just fell off the bone. <laughs> he walks funny, my old granddad walks funny. He's got a funny walk. We, we go out walking when I'm at home with him. We go out walking, he walks like this, my granddad. Yeah, what? just like that. Just like that, he walks like that. And the other day we went out walking, unbelievable. Went out walking the other day, and my granddad was walking along, and he looked across the other side of the road, and he saw someone walking exactly the same. Unbelievable. So my granddad stopped mid stride, and he said, Oi, World War II! The man across the road said, No, dogs poop around the corner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, then he shook his head, oh Lord, the man he shook his head, I swear I heard someone say, Mr. Bojangles, that's Mr. Bojangles, Mr. Bojangles. with excitement, aren't you? 50th wedding anniversary, he thought, I know, we're going to go on one final holiday, one final vacation, and we're going to go all the way to New York City. Woo! I know, so they get to JFK Airport, walk through the airport, get into one of those yellow taxis, they get in the taxi, the taxi driver turns around and said, hey guys, welcome to New York City, where do you want to go? 
It's my American accent. <laughs> my granddad turns around and says, take us to the Hilton downtown. My nan, oh, what did he say? When I was in London in the 1960s, I had my worst ever sexual experience. What did he say? He thinks he knows you. Frank. Frank Stinson. Nice.